Welcome back. Now that we just saved the images to a new file, now what you want to do here is show the images that you just saved, okay? So the way to do it is we already did it, but we're going to do it again just, uh, just for you to, to see how it's done. So basically, you always rem remember always to, to comment out what you are doing. So image is show the images that we just created. So the, let's start with the blur one, image blur dot show image what's the next one edge and then small dot show same thing for the other one m dot contour dot show and m dot cropped dot show so this is a way this is a way to do it now, if we um, if we run this, we basically what what we are seeing here is we are going to um, open an image called cat that we saw in our directory. We're going to apply three filters: a blur, an edge, and then more and uh, I'm contour. And I know I know what you're thinking is well, how can I how can I possibly remember this? It's basically you, you just play around with the, the available filters that that exist. And then you you start gravitating towards the one that you, the ones that you like the most, and basically that's the way for you to learn. This just they could name this uh, A A B B X X X doesn't doesn't mean anything. It's just just a name. So when you start using some filters, you like them more, and then it's just a matter of you know the syntax and how the the thing works in order for you to get the effects that that you are trying to get. So. Next, we're going to take an image, and it's we are going to ro the same image, and we are going to ro rotate it uh, 90 degrees, and then we are going to use this process to change the RGB channels. Remember that we talked about uh, an image; um, it's kind of a bunch of zeros and ones, but in in, in each in each um, in each dot, let's say, of that image, in each pi pixel—that's the correct name. Each pixel has uh, three uh, channels: it's a red, green, and blue. Because with red, green, and blue, you can basically compose any any color that you want. And what we are doing here is basically we are splitting the RGB channels from the from the image, and we are going to use them separated in the new image that we call uh, RGB change. And that we are going to merge the RGB, but the the, the values are different. If if we d did this like RGB, it didn't it wouldn't show any difference. We are doing doing this in a different way. We're doing the the blue instead of the green instead of red. Sorry. So we're changing a little bit the um, the channels. And also the green and the red are are, um, are different. So and then we are going to crop the image. So we're creating a new image all image cropped. And basically we are um, finding out where of uh, the point of the image that we are going to 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 um, to crop. Basically, the next process is to save the image to a new file, and then we're just showing the the, um, the images that we just created. So let's let's run this um, this process. So this is the first one, and these are the, the next ones. Uh, this always looks pretty cool. So let's just see this from the one. So this is the first one. See, we rotated the um, the image 90 degrees. This is the one that we change the RGB channel. See, it always looks has a really cool effect. This is the one that we just blurred. This is the one that is the edge enhanced. See, you see clear difference between this blurred one and this really enhanced one. Even the original one that, that was like, like this, you can see, see this, this is much more uh, brighten. And then I think we did another one. I, I, I don't forget what this one was. So. Oh, and this was the one that we that we cropped. So we cropped this specific area. And if you used Photoshop when you opened the, um, this file, you would see that it, in from the the original image, it would correspond um, the the um, the coordinates that you that you decided here in this in this program. So this is a way to this is a way to process an image. See, there's a lot of code here, but it's pretty simple to, to, to follow. So basically, you read the image. You can show an image directly, just use the, the show method. And then you can apply filters to images, and you just need to, to see the, the ones that are available. Remember, all these filters come from, from, 
from PO. So you just go to the Python web website and you can see from the image and image filter what are the processes available for you to use. You can rotate the image, you can crop the image, you can also merge two different uh, images, just uh, hand out the coordinates and the second image is going to fit in the, the, the other one. You can crop images using coordinates here and you can save images to new files and then you just show out the, the images that you, um, that you just processed. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.